Welcome back to Buffalo Fireside Chats. Well, what can I say? 200 subscribers. Thanks to everybody for taking this journey with me. 200 subs. We're going to get to 300. We're going to get to 400. And Washington and Michigan. And then we're going to Washington, D.C. to take back the White House. Yeah! <laughs> but seriously, you know what that means. I will be donating $100 to a charity. And I could think of a ton of charities, but I want suggestions for my subscribers. So... Put a charity in the comments section below and I will pick three and we will have a vote on it. So please make these recommendations apolitical as I don't want to donate to the very people that do us a disservice every day. Um, think of puppies, think of children, veterans, or any charity that directly positively impacts people. So, all right, let's talk a little ILIS and WSFT. So, like I said before, some knuckleheads were complaining that the WSFT acquisition of Quality International doesn't matter. But guess what? It does matter. And let's look at why. Okay, so WSFT has a binding LOI to acquire Quality International. So what is a binding contract? A binding contract is any, is any agreement that's legally enforceable. That means if you sign a binding contract and don't fulfill your end of the bargain, the other party can take you to court. So to make a contract binding, it needs to include several key elements. Let's take a look here. Offer and acceptance. One party needs to offer something, such as money, services, rights, etc. And the other party needs to accept the offer. Consideration, the benefit that both parties receive. This can be money, services, items, or anything of value. Mutuality or intention. The understanding that both parties expect to be bound by the contract and to fulfill their end of the bargain. Legality, the contract has to obey all federal, state, and local laws. You can't make a contract for something illegal. And capacity, all parties are legally able to sign the contract. For example, a person's age and health might make them ineligible to legally sign a contract. So, if a contract contains all these elements, it can be considered binding and legally enforceable. So, what is a non-binding contract? All right, a non-binding contract is any contract that's either missing one of the elements required to be binding or includes non-binding language, such as, this contract is non-binding. All right, non-binding contracts are typically used when two parties want to put down preliminary discussions on paper to make sure they're on the same page, but don't want to explicitly agree to anything. All right, so there you have it, all right? So guys, remember, this is a binding LOI, which has legal consequences. The binding requirements of a letter of intent are significant and may have legal ramifications if violated. The legal repercussions may bind the parties indefinitely to the agreement. This is owing to the document's constitutional enforceability in court. Suppose one party breaks the agreement or any binding terms in the letter of intent. In that case, they may suffer repercussions in the form of damages owing to the other party or additional penalties through a different resolution. Non-binding provisions in contracts express the purpose of the parties in a transaction or agreement, but they are not enforceable in court. So remember, this is binding. So there you have it. My conviction hasn't wavered, and it never will, because the DD is truly on the side of Eyeless. And listen, if you got questions or comments, throw them in the comments section down below. Let's keep it positive and respectful. And this brings me to my cheers of the week, because this guy has been with the BFC fam since the beginning and is always putting comments down below. The cheers of the week goes out to Jord Hugga. Dude, thank you so much for being a part of this ride and being one of my strongest supporters. I look forward to having you back on the show so you could share more of your passion with the BFC community. Cheers to Jordan Hugga. Mm, a good old freedom beer. All right, listen, that's it, gang. Please like, share, and subscribe. And remember, there is more that binds us than breaks us. Peace out.